Cause I got to know If you feel the things I do I might need some help If you let me go Cause I'm flying through the sky And I'm sitting a little high on you What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel Today we have an awesome experience planned out for you guys We are going to be learning about how the tiny little tea leaf makes it all the way from the bush in the hill country of Norelia to the packaging and onto your table. So we are in Mandara Nuara and we are with the tea and experience factory and they are going to be showing us all about how this process takes place. There are also some amazing waterfalls in this area we are going to explore so I'm super excited to take you along. So let's get into it. So it took us about four and a half hours to come here and there is a little meetup spot where you can park your vehicle. The hotel will send a vehicle for you, a jeep, which will take you up. I think it's about maybe um, half an hour, an hour up to the hotel. So yeah, let's go. Oh. we're gonna go for lunch in a bit let me explain to you what is so special about this tea and experience factory so when you are a guest here you get a very immersive experience on how your tea makes it to your table so you get the chance to actually pluck the leaves with the tea pluckers and experience how it's processed and then eventually how it makes it to your table also we are in Mandaram Noora so the word mandaram actually is supposed to mean like temperamental or something along those word terms but basically the city is also named the misty city and we were told when we came here because it was really bright and sunny when we came here that that was actually a very rare occasion and we kind of understand now because within the two hours that we have been here it's been sunny misty rainy cloudy all of that so stay tuned and um, yeah that's it let's go and have lunch and Tell us what's happening. So we are going to meet some tea pluckers and get a few lessons on how to pick the correct leaves and uh, yeah, experience it firsthand. This is the first step of making your own tea. And we're walking through this beautiful estate. Yeah, I've even got a basket for myself. <laughs> so I've just been explained how this process works. Basically, you only pick in one area and then afterwards you rotate and you don't come back to that area for seven days and this is really important to help the new buds grow and when you're picking you're only picking the buds and the two fresh leaves and maybe the third one and these are usually the lightest colored leaves that you see here and uh, these ladies will pick about 18 kilograms of these leaves every day and they work from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. so now I'm going to attempt to try and get this right and let's see Hopefully she'll tell me if I'm picking the right one. You need to wear the bucket. I need to, oh, I have, I have to wear the bucket, yes. Yes. So, I don't have a, I don't have one like hers, but uh, this is what I, I have for myself. There you go. I imagine this gets quite heavy actually, right, over time? For sure. Ah, okay, so. All right, so this is a fresh bud. And you don't pick the stem as well, you only pick the leaf. Right, so you cut it from here basically. And then that is your, those are the only kind of leaves that you put. Uh, where else can I take it from? Make 
Uh, I'm cheating because she's telling me where to go. So there you go. So these are the fresh leaves that will be turned into your tea. And then they go into my bucket. <laughs> I'm not good at it. <laughs> collection point and what you see behind me is what all these ladies have collected and this is all that I have collected so yeah they collect 18 kg of this like I said before and it's incredible it weighs a lot and it's a lot of um, like hard labor work and it's amazing to see these ladies do it that really point makes you appreciate your cup of tea really makes you appreciate your cup of tea and like Look at them, they are so tiny but they are so strong. I'm gonna go and contribute my leaves now. So now we're at the factory and this is where all the leaves that are collected at the collection center are brought to. They are dropped off in a machine that will dry them for 12 to 14 hours to reduce their moisture. And the rest of the process begins tomorrow so we'll be back here again to see the process. Hey guys, so the hotel has organized this lovely high tea for us. They have this every evening and uh, we're enjoying a nice cup of tea, fresh tea and some sandwiches and pastries and cake and yeah, the weather is chilly but it's so nice. We were supposed to stand outside but it's way too windy and uh, all our stuff, the table stuff kept falling off so we're not going to take a chance. We're just going to stay sheltered under this uh, factory roof for now. So. The wind died down just a little bit and we just could not pass up the opportunity to sit out here. So here we are and I'm biting into my sandwich and oh, it's so amazing. Picturesque and perfect. guys second day here at the tea and experience factory um, our naturalist is going to take us to explore three waterfalls uh, we are going by jeep and uh, hopefully it won't be too cold and we'll be able to get in but yeah we just had an awesome sunrise we have beautiful skies i can't be i still can't believe we are in the misty city when we have skies like this behind us it's crazy we got super lucky this time but anyways let's go Ride is here, and uh, let's get on and go explore. For so long, I've been trying to get you out of my head. Oh, yeah, but somehow I always seem to wake up in your bed. second waterfall it is secluded and there's nobody here it's so stunning and beautiful and both the waterfalls we've been to have an amazing base that you can swim in we are actually preparing to have lunch here and breakfast. we have oh yes breakfast my bad and uh, we have one more stop so i'm so excited to see what they have in store for us honestly you guys this is what i love about sri lanka is the fact that you can find two three waterfalls that are like this you know secluded clean and beautiful and not a person around um, and it's free to visit which is like I, I didn't I think I took that for granted until I visited Bali and I realized all the beautiful waterfalls cost money to visit to 
but in Sri Lanka there's so many like this that are not even discovered. This area has a very popular waterfall called uh, Kolapata, right Chan? Yep. Kolapata waterfall, which is, does get very packed. So we are very happy with this experience. This is definitely the kind of thing that we love to do. So fully satisfied. So I'm gonna get in here. It's gonna be freezing. Cause I got to know if you feel the things I do I might need some help if you let me go Cause I'm flying through the sky and I'm sitting a little high on you Right 
product is then going to be separated and cleaned. So this is the clean product. This is what will be moving into the final machine to be graded into the different types of tea and it will eventually be packaged. So we are very close to the final product now. So all of this is the refuse tea. This is what is separated during the cleaning process. This is everything that won't be used. awesome day today lots of adventure stuff in the morning yeah so now we're having dinner and tomorrow morning we are going to be checking out but before that I will show you guys the pool that is at this place which I haven't been able to show you yet you guys so our stay in Madam Nora has finally come to an end it's so sad to leave because there's still so much more to explore here so we will definitely be back a big thank you to the tea and experience factory for hosting us here and if you guys like this video make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video and leave us a comment let us know where would you like us to visit and explore next in Sri Lanka and with that I will see you guys in the next one bye